Hello, good morning everyone. How are you today? Are you ready to start our lesson? Today we are going to learn about decimals, yeah, decimals and operation of decimals, yeah. Okay, before we start our lesson, let's prepare our hearts. We want to uh, sing and praise God together. Okay, I believe that if you can still follow this lesson, it means that uh, God is good to all of us, that we can be healthy, we can be here because of God's grace. Okay, let's sing.
Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for our health, for our family, for everything that you have given to us. Thank you that we can be here, we can still be here today because of your grace, because of your love. Lord Jesus, we want to start our lessons today. Help us and guide us that we may be smarter, clever, and be just like what you want us to be. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay. Now I want you to all take your books, yeah, and open the chapter 11. It's the four operation of decimal. What is the meaning of four operation of decimal? Jadi sama seperti bilangan bulat ada empat operasinya yang pernah uh, teman-teman pelajari. Ada apa aja? Nih? penjumlahan pengurangan perkalian dan yang keempat pembagian jadi e, bilangan desimal juga sama akan me- me- mengalami operasi empat macam itu yang akan kita pelajari ya kan oke okay. addition subtraction multiplication and division Okay. Okay, I want you to open your book to page 90. Yeah. What is it about? It's about addition. Addition artinya penjumlahan. Okay. First, how do we add uh, decimals? Yeah. Uh, we have to align it's the same principle as we add Uh, the whole number ya sama sebenarnya prinsipnya sama pada waktu kita menjumlahkan bilangan bulat ya jadi for example ya we want to add um, 123 ya yeah. we want to add it with four for example you see here I align the ones with the ones ya kan jadi bilangan yang posisinya sama itu harus harus sama sejajar diletakannya jadi kenapa ones harus dekat dengan ones posisinya yang ini ones kalau yang ini apa this one is tens this one is hundred ya kan makanya kenapa yang ini ones harus dengan ones Ya, terus yang uh, tens harus dengan tens one, hundred dengan hundred, ones plus ones, gitu kan? Nah, how how about decimal? Ya, decimal tuh kan berarti bilangan yang ada misalnya, for example ya, we want to add. Kalau kita baca di uh, apa words in the gray one, it says. Uh, The mass of an apple is 0.1 kilograms. The mass of an orange is 0.2 kilograms, right? And then we want to add the mass. 0.1 plus 0.2. Notice, kalau bilangan desimal yang kalian uh, untuk cara mudah untuk uh, melakukannya, pastikan supaya uh, pointnya, titiknya, nah, kalau MTK, koma ya kan, kalau MF, dia titik. Jadi pointnya ini harus sejajar. Ini yang kalian perhatikan supaya mudah. Kalau Se- bilangan yang di depannya titik sudah pasti dia posisinya apa? Once, right? 
Jadi mm, yang kalian langsung kerjakan pastikan kalau titiknya sejajar. 0.0 plus 0.0 pointnya juga langsung diteruskan ke bawah. Ya kan? 1 point uh, plus 2 3. Ya. Kita co- pakai contoh bilangan yang lebih besar lagi supaya kalian terbayang yang Miss katakan. For example, we want to add 12 point 3 ya. We want to add it with 1.23. 1.23 pointnya dipastikan sejajar 1.23 jangan bingung ya nah kalau bilangan yang di belakangnya kayak gini nih ya ini kan posisinya tadi apa kalau ini once ini apa tenth per sepuluhan remember tenth bukan tens kalau tens yang ini tens ya kan ini tens oke okay? nah sekarang yang bawahnya bilangan yang bawahnya once yang mana once yang ini number two itu posisinya tenth jadi tenth dengan tenth right kalau three ini posisinya hundred oke okay? nah kita tambahin kalau bilangan yang di belakangnya ini yang tidak ada uh, tidak dituliskan itu bisa kita gantikan dengan angka zero untuk mempermudah supaya kalian membayangkannya ya jadi zero plus three oke okay. oke okay. uh, three plus two berapa five pointnya ikut diteruskan two plus one three then one Gini ya, bisa Now let's continue ya Okay, if you understand that And then I want you to do Page 94 and 95 Ya, yeah, 94 and 95 Nanti I want you to take picture And then you upload it uh, Page by page I will give you the question For example, um, upload page 94 so you upload each student in each uh, question okay so don't join all the uh, pages so you it will help you to know which one you have not done okay sekarang lesson 2 lesson 2 itu page 96 it's about subtraction subtraction artinya apa? pengurangan Okay, the principle is the same like how we uh, subtract uh, the whole number. Mirip ininya cara cara berpikirnya. Okay, for example, we want to uh, subtract seperti bilangan tadi ya. For example, nih. Now we want to use two as the tens. Tens. <laughs> Now we want to use two as the tens. 24.7 ya minus 1.2 gitu ya jadi posisi uh, komanya posisi titiknya dis- disamakan 7 minus 2 is what? 5 1nya teruskan 4 minus 1 is 3 begini ya oke okay. sekarang bilangan yang lebih sulit for example thirty one point eight minus one point seventeen ya kan one point seventeen for example like that nah ini Uh, kita mau mengerjakan pengurangan oke okay. we want to do this one but how if this has no number, ini gak ada bilangan di sini. bilangan yang kalau di belakangnya tidak ada berarti sama dengan zero 
Oke. Okay. Nah, 0 dikurangin 7 berarti kita pinjam dulu dari sini kan. Then minus 7 is what? 3. Ya, tadi ini udah dipinjam, jadi sisa 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. Pointnya we continue. 1 minus 1 is 0 and then 3. It's like this. Okay? Do you think you can do this? One more example, yeah. For example, um, nine, 19.1 yeah, minus ninety. Um, Three. How do you do this? Now, uh, we can, first the step to do is we can make estimation. Yeah, kita bikin pembulatan dulu, rounding we round it, supaya kita tahu kira-kira jawabannya berapa. Kalau kita bulatkan ke uh, ke bilangan bulat terdekat ya yeah, we round to the nearest hole ini 19.1 becomes it's similar than 19 oke okay. now 3.9 kalau kita bulatkan ini kan 9 udah lebih besar daripada 5 jadi kita bulatkannya ke atas 3.93 kita bulatkannya jadi 4 19 minus 4 is what is 15, right? Ya, ini hasil pembulatannya. Nah, sekarang kita kita kerjakan bilangan aslinya. Hasilnya berapa? Oke, okay, let's check. First, what to do? Uh, there's no number, there's three. So, we put zero. Zero minus three, pinjam ya. Ten minus three is seven. Oke, okay. now, ini udah dipinjam. Di zero. Zero minus nine. Berapa? Kamu pinjam lagi dari sini. Boleh pinjam. Pinjam lintas koma boleh. Jadi ten minus. Uh, minus nine is. One. Pointnya lagi-lagi diturunkan. Ini tadi udah dipinjam ya. Jadi delapan. Delapan. Eight minus three is. Five. Ya ini. Bilangannya mirip nggak? Dekat nggak? Mirip ya. Jadi, berarti dia betul. Oke? Okay? Karena bilangannya hasil pembulatan dan hasil uh, dihitung langsung, angkanya mirip. Kadang-kadang kalau kalian menghitung uh, desimal, karena kurang hati-hati dengan koma, akhirnya jadi salah me me mengerjakan operasi puluhan, satuan, dan uh, persepuluhannya itu. Akhirnya, bilangan jadi tidak masuk akal. Nah inilah gunanya estimation, gunanya pembulatan supaya kalian bisa uh, cross check. Am I doing correctly or not? Gitu ya. Nah, it's in page. Uh, you have to do after this the page 94. Ya, di sini juga dibilang estimate. Jadi kalian uh, estimasikan dulu baru dijumlahkan. Ya, supaya kalian bisa dapat hasilnya kurang lebih berapa ya masuk akal nggak gitu ya oke okay, after you do page 94 and 95 you upload it so it's already 4 pages oke okay? oke okay, I want you to do page 102 and 103 ya kan now it says also estimate So, you can uh, help yourself by estimating. Am I answering correctly or not? Yeah. So, it's already four pages that you have to do. 94, 95. 
102 and 103 okay be careful when you upload it upload it one page by one page one by one okay okay we are going to do one more lesson it's about multiplication okay now uh, the way to multiply decimal number is the same as you multiply the whole numbers yeah Ca prinsipnya cara berpikirnya itu sama for example you want to multiply 12 times 3 yeah what do you have to do when you want to multiply 12 times 3 dari belakang right 2 times 3 is what 6 yeah and then 1 times 3 is 3 what if there is a point here 1.2 times 3 so you do exactly the same 2 times 3 is 6 1 times 3 is 3 and then you check how many numbers are there behind the point ada berapa angka yang ada di belakang titik di belakang komanya ini only one cuma yang ini aja kan yang ini tidak kan jadi berarti you put only one number behind the point bisa oke kita coba sama bilangan yang lebih lebih banyak ya nah uh, prinsipnya ingat sama seperti uh, multiplication biasa bilangan yang digitnya lebih banyak taruh aja di atas oke okay ya jadi uh, misalnya nih we are going to multiply one two twelve point thirty four ya kan terus we want to multiply by uh, 15 for example ya taruh aja begini sama aja taruhnya ya terus cara pekerjaannya sama 4 times 5 is 3 times 5 15 17 2 times 5 1 times 5 5 6 bener ya Now we put point here, ya kan? Supaya kita tidak taruh angka di bawahnya yang ini. Nah, sekarang kita kerjakan pengalinya yang number one. Four times uh, one is four. Three times one is three. Two times one is two. One times one is one. Kita jumlahin dulu. Zero. Eleven. 5 8 1 Bener? Ya Terus kita cek How many numbers Are there behind the comma Yang ini ada bilangan komanya enggak? Enggak ada ya Yang ini ada berapa angka di belakang koma? 1, 2 Ada 2 numbers behind koma Jadi kita juga jawabannya kita taruh one two behind koma, oke? Okay? bisa? kita bisa nulis seperti ini one eighty five point one atau one eighty five point ten. tapi karena ini nggak nggak uh, ada artinya kalau desimal kita bisa nggak usah tuliskan, oke? Okay? do you have any question? do you have any problem? if you have any question, uh, you can write Yeah, or you can text me. Okay, you already know my my number, right? Okay, thank you. This is all uh, that we have learned today. Don't forget to do the multiplication also. Multiplication is in page 107. Yeah, 107. So how many pages do you have to do today? It's five pages. Two uh, addition, two subtraction, and one multiplication. Division we will learn next time. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice uh, life. And then enjoy your moments at home with your family. Don't forget to eat well. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget to read the Bible. God bless you all. Bye.